So I just literally finished making a recipe with this rotisserie chicken and we're gonna turn this into this beautiful bowl of fur. I mean, look at that broth, oh my goodness. And it's gonna happen in record time, my friends. So I don't like to waste stuff in the studio. I also don't like to waste stuff at home. And I think oftentimes you hear that thing where someone's like, oh yeah, just make a stock up with, you know, the leftovers, blah, blah. But you're like, oh, I gotta get the big pot out. I gotta get all the things. It's actually very, very simple. Let's not even think about it like a stock. I'm gonna show you how we just make ourselves a little broth by just putting the bones in a small-ish pot. This doesn't have to be a big deal, remember? I've got my wing tips here. And then I do have some legs and thighs here. I'm just gonna get right in here, be a little brutal, get the bones out. This is something I make at home all the time after I've finished with my rotisserie chicken or a roast chicken. Save that for later. And now just a little bit of vegetable. So when I say vegetable, I just mean an onion, cut that in half, go straight in. I've got some ginger, and I just keep ginger in my freezer for moments like this where I'm making an impromptu broth. Some spices that I always have in the cupboard, star anise, that's not star anise, that's cinnamon. <laughs> cinnamon and some star anise, and that's pretty much it. So now we just need water and we're gonna have ourselves a fur broth any second now. Just let that come to a simmer. I reckon around about 20, 25 minutes. We'll do some final seasoning, cook some noodles, and we're gonna eat some fur. Oh, it's a video done. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> Okay, so I did leave this in for a little bit longer because I was just checking some emails and doing a bit of work. Uh, but it was so low maintenance that I didn't even come back and have a look. I am looking at it now though, and it smells and looks beautiful. The final thing I need to do though is just do a little bit of seasoning here. So I do want to taste this. See the color of that already? Oh, it smells so good. Oh wow, like I haven't even added any salt or anything and that is tasting really good. Okay, so I know that soy sauce doesn't typically go in fur broth. I have been told many times. <laughs> I do have a very traditional fur recipe if you would like to give it a try, but this is not that. This is a cheats version and I'm adding the soy because we haven't had like the eight, 10 hours of simmering that a really good fur stock in a restaurant would have. The soy sauce does give you an extra boost of umami. And look, you just don't need to tell anyone. It's in there, just pretend it's not there. <laughs> and now some fish sauce. And I do like to use Vietnamese fish sauce with my Vietnamese dishes and my Thai fish sauce with my Thai dishes. I think the fish sauces do have a slight difference in flavor. That's why I try to match them up. And let's go in here and have a look. The soy sauce has also given us a lovely color. Ah, oh, that's so yum. Ah, oh, so good. I might just go in with a little bit of salt as well just a little dash of sugar just for some sweetness and that is looking good okay so now if I was at home I would just simply like ladle the broth out without straining it but I'm gonna strain it just so you can see the color of that lovely broth look at that 25 minutes oh, so good <laughs> Now we can build our bowl. I have my noodles here that I cooked while I was waiting for my broth. And I'm just gonna add in here some shredded chicken, just some of that leg meat that was left over. And this is probably enough for, you know, two or three bowls here. The point is that I didn't wanna make so much broth that then I had to like sort of pack everything up, get it into bags, put it in the freezer. The whole point is that you're just using that carcass straight away, getting it made, eating it, and you're done kind of thing. So I, that's what I mean about it not being a big deal. It's just throwing it in the pot with some water and some bits and pieces. And just on the side here, I'm gonna put my hoisin and sriracha. You can add that to your heart's content. Want some bean shoots, some lime there, and some Thai basil. Wow, I wish you guys could smell this right now. 
it smells so good. Oh wait, I might do a little bit of red chilli. So you can really go to town with the uh, extra bits and pieces when it's taken so little time to make the actual soup. <laughs> There you go. Look at that. So happy with myself. <laughs> it's such a lovely thing to do with some leftover chicken bones. No faffing about. Really doesn't take long. And the flavour. Oh, now that is so good. You won't believe it till you try it. Ah, oh, yum.